Oh, I bumped the paper. Okay. This is the part of the entire module, topic one and topic two. All of it boils down to what's happening on this page and whether it's this video or not, the next page. Because with what we've discovered about similar triangles, proportions, Sokotoa, law of sines, law of cosines, and the area of a triangle, we can solve values for any sort of triangle that's been given to us. In fact, you know, if you want a good career with a little bit of training and not a lot of student debt along the way, surveying is a very lucrative profession and uh, they use trig all the time. In fact, not only do they use trig, all of these are embedded in the calculator. So in terms of actually performing these calculations, there's a, there's a program that'll do that for you, but you have to go out and get them. Surveying, look it up, good stuff. Use, oh, you're outside all the time too. You're outside, you get to explore things, you see it's good, good profession. Okay, use the law of sines or law of cosines to solve each problem. A surveyor will determine the approximate length of a proposed tunnel, which will be necessary to complete a new highway. A mountain stretches from point A to point B as shown. A surveyor stands at point C and measures the distance from where she stands to both points A and B. You know what a surveyor is, by the way. They have this like um, a, a, a spyglass, like it's, it's a telescope that stands on a tripod and then they can sight it in. Lasers are used to help get accurate measurements. Then measures the angle formed between those two distances. Paid a lot of money per hour because it takes big brain in order to make it work. Okay. We're not using area of a triangle, so I'm going to make that go away. But we are using law of sines or law of cosines, and it's up to you to understand which one is preferred. Here's how we know. The angle is between two sides. Now I'm highlighting away from our hypotenuse opposite adjacent, just highlighting. Law of cosines, the angle has to be between the two sides so that we can find the side across from that angle. This is law of cosines. So write down the formula. Thank you for the bell. Sorry that distracted you. A equals B squared plus C squared minus two times B times C times cosine of A. And we're gonna square root and all of that can go into the calculator right now. I'm gonna hand write it all out, but then I'm gonna to go to the calculator with it. So A equals 4,500 squared plus 6,800 squared minus two times 4,500 times 6,800 times cosine of 122. Sorry, there is a topic two like box in the way rude. Okay, I'm going to type it in here on the screen and then I'll go ahead and put it on the document camera. Mm, I want that to be visible still, so maybe like that much. Okay, so I have square root 4,500 squared plus 6,800 squared minus 2 times 4,500 times 6,800 times cosine of 122 degrees. Practicing, typing, all of that in the calculator, that's a skill you need to know. Desmos works, just make sure you're in degree mode. Now let me press enter and get the points. From this information, the distance between those two points on the surveyor is 9,945.91. Approximately 9,945.91 feet. Almost two miles. So a mile one way, a little over a mile the other way. It's not quite a mile. It's a little less than, a little more than, but the distance between them, separated by 122 degrees, 9,945.91 feet. Pay no attention to the bell. The bell is not for use for me. That's how long the tunnel should be. The surveyor concludes that the tunnel should be 
9,945.91 feet long. We should write in full sentences. That's what's happening here. Write in full sentences. Okay, question two. Mm, I'm going to break up question two for another video. That's been this one. Thanks for watching.